Hello, hello. Welcome to Maker Studio. I am Cheryl and I create over on the Home on My Making page where I do lots and lots of projects using a Maker Studio products. So today, I don't know if you guys have seen, but they have released tons and tons of stencils and all fabulous Christmas stencils. So I'm going to be using one of them today. So let me show you what I'm going to be using. It is called Reindeer Here. So this is like a three part stencil. The whole thing is eight and a half by 11, but it's three parts. You have the top part that says Merry Christmas. You have the graphic of some reindeers in the center and the words Merry Christmas on the bottom. So this is a lot going on in this stencil. A lot of detail, a lot of um, graphic um, design in here. And of course you got some words at the very end. So let's open it up. And if you are new to the Laser Studio stencils, they are a tri mesh adhesive stencil. So I'm just going to put this to the side. Always keep your little sleeve and that backing in there. So since this is a um, three-part stencil, I am going to cut it out on the cut lines that they provided on this stencil. You could see them right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna do a couple of projects with this stencil. So if you are hopping on now, don't forget, if you wanna be in the giveaway for this particular stencil, tag three friends and share this video. And you could be in the drawing for this particular stencil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this stencil now. There's a lot going on in this stencil. You have the word Merry Christmas. You got a lot of swirls. You have a um, reindeer here and some greenery here. So sometimes when I see a stencil like this that has a lot going on, I think sometimes simple is better. So let me show you. I had gotten this cutting board at Dollar Tree. It's a bamboo cutting board. And since this particular stencil has so much going on, I'm going to put it on this cutting board, but I am only going to use one color because I want the stencil to actually be the star of the show. I feel like if I was to make it multicolors, and you could do that, I feel if you make it multicolors, it's going to take away for, from all the graphics. So I'm not staining this, and I'm not even going to paint the bottom of this. So I'm going to take some white gel or ink. And well, I declare, this is a great product because it's formulated also for um, fabric. And we have a bunch of squeegees. So I'm going to take this particular squeegee. I'm going to apply the product right over there, just a little bit. I'm one of those people that likes to do a little at a time instead of a lot. And if I need to go back and get more product, I will. So I just have a little bit on there. I am always going to hit the first time with this squeegee on the gray area. And then I'm going to pass it through. Now, once, once you put this product on here, you see all the detail coming out. Even They even have like little dots on here for like to emulate snow. And um, love that, love that, love that, love that. Again, ran out of some gel art ink, gonna put more on there. And I could see whether um, the product has gone through the stencil because it's changing to white. So I don't see the surface color popping through anymore. I'm just gonna turn it so that I'm not working against myself. So I'm just being mindful that the um, surface color is not peeking through. And then I know that I got all my areas covered with the ink. Again, our squeegees are reusable, so you just wash them. I always have a water bath here, and the reason why I do that is I'm on a live. You would just go rinse it under a sink. So this is my favorite part, just pulling it through. Now remember, that was just a simple, simple, simple cutting board but it has all this detail now. Let me just put this in my water bath. So again, see all that product in there? The way to maintain your stencil is just make sure you get all that product out of there, which you would get up and go run it under a sink. I just place it in the water bath so it doesn't dry while I'm doing this. So see how now, how simple that was 
but the detail in the stencil is what gives it so much pizzazz, right? And I kept it simple by um, keeping it in one color scheme. Now, I will go over, and when this is totally dry, and apply a matte sealer because I'm probably gonna use this as like a trivet not necessarily a cutting board. I'm gonna probably just use it as a trivet on you know, the table if I serve something, or I could even use this as a decor piece and just stick it in the back of my, you know, under my counter. So very cute, look at all the detail. I love the new stencils. I'm gonna close this up because I don't want it to dry out. Now, if you are just hopping on here now, um, I'm Cheryl from Home of My Making. You're on the Maker Studio Facebook page. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, do me a favor, tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the drawing for this particular stencil. So the next thing I'm going to do, a really quick project also, I had some unfinished wooden tags. They were unfinished and I did go ahead before I got on and painted in the one step paint in the Bauhaus buff. I needed it dry for this part of the project so I did it ahead of time. So two, stun two um, tags, a little bit different in size. So remember we had the word Merry Christmas. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the Gel Art ink in the Bless His Heart, which is the red color, and Grass is Always Greener, which is the green color. I do like sometimes when I'm using a smaller area to use this type of spreader. And I do cut it to make it much more manageable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off its backing to start. And I'm just gonna lay it down for a second until I get prepared. Then I'm gonna take one of my cut part of the squeegee in the bliss, his heart, put it on there just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the word Mary and I'm gonna put it on this particular tag. I'm trying to center it somewhat just the word Mary. And then I'm gonna take the red, which is the Bless His Heart Gel Art ink, and I'm gonna go over just the Mary. Quick and easy. I'm gonna put this, actually, let me release some of that. I'm gonna put this in the water bath. Everything is washable. I'm gonna lift that up, and we got the Mary. Now I'm gonna lay down the Christmas one, this is got some product in it, so just make sure if you're doubly using your stencils that you don't have that piece laying on there because it probably would smear. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize there was an exclamation point at the bottom of that. So I'm just going to hang that over so that it doesn't touch. And then, remember I said I was going to use the um, Grass is Always Greener. I'm going to put a little bit on there and then do the same thing. Just take the spreader and get the product through the stencil. Again, if I don't see the white color anymore, which is the surface color, I know that I got it pushed through there. I'm going to put that in the um, water bath also. Now, I'm going to lift that up. So here's what I have. I have Christmas and I have Merry. I am gonna hit heat set it real quick. Now you don't have to heat set it, I'm just getting it dry so I can work with the tags. But you don't have to do that. It'll dry in about 15, 20 minutes and you can proceed to the other part of the um, project. I am closing that, it's water-based, so you wanna keep all your products closed after you use them. So just a quick dry. Now, you, again, you don't have to do that, but I did it because I am on a live. I'm gonna take a little piece of jute, and then I'm going to, these tags have holes in them, so I'm actually going to put a piece of jute through them to tie them together. And again, if you guys are just hopping on and you just are catching me here right now, go ahead and tag three friends and um, you could be in the drawing for this particular stencil. Now I'm just going to 
just going to tie a little knot up here so that it becomes a hanger, okay? Just trying to keep them, they should be dry, I did heat set. Then I'm just going to take a little piece of ribbon and I'm going to together put a bow up at the top. It'll hide some of the word, but you will definitely understand it says Merry Christmas, right? So just took two little tags. I painted them with the Bauhaus buff, which is the white color in the one-step paint. And then I took the gel art ink in Bless His Heart and Grass Is Always Greener, and I divided the stencil one word on one tag and one word on another tag. And then I'm just going to put a little simple bow and you can add this to, now think about this, you can add this to a, a gift bag, a, a box that you're wrapping. You could um, put this around the neck of a wine bottle and give it with the bottle of wine. So a couple of little simple projects. Again, this was two tags that were unfinished. I used the part of the stencil that said Merry and Christmas. It is under there, you could see it. And then I took just a Dollar Tree little, um, surface and then did it all in the white. I love the color combination of this. This is so simple, but look at all the detail in the stencil. That's where the the magic happens is in the detail of the stencil. So again, don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the running for this particular stencil, which is called Reindeer Here. Yes, Reindeer Here. Got it. So thank you for joining me. Go and um, up in the comments, you have all the links to all the products that I used. Plus, just go check out all the stencils. There's tons more Christmas stencils that have been released for the season, and they're all fabulous. I can't even pick one. That is my favorite. So thank you guys for joining me, and um, don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.